I'm Chad Parker. I'm manager of product ownership at Global Payments Integrated. Global Payments is a payment processing company and we provide technology solutions to other software developers to add payments functionality within their apps. How we Pendo is we use it to drive business decisions. Prior to Pendo, uh, a lot of our product decisions were made based on gut feels or conversations that we've had with a few of our customers uh, and, and not a whole lot of data because the data wasn't easily surfaceable. Pendo was a game changer. I was um, now able to go in and answer a lot of questions. We built a service at the beginning of the pandemic uh, that we called Payment Request, uh, which allowed these clinics and, and other merchants, other business owners to send a text message or an email to their customer. It would bring up a, a statement on the customer's phone or device, and, and they would pay for it right there on their phone. We got Pendo a few months after that. We started using paths to figure out what are they doing before that and what are they doing after that? Uh, and what we found is a, a big part of what we lacked was, yes, we gave the, the ability to send a payment request, but we don't give a way to get a notification when that payment's paid. Most of the users are going payment request send, and then they're going to our transaction search functionality and searching for a transaction a bunch of times till it goes in. And so what we did, path after payment request. So I can see what they're clicking on. What we're seeing is 50% of our users after sending a payment request are going to look for that transaction to see if it went through. And then the others are either not doing anything else or they're sending another payment request. That's where the value in this use case was for us is we're able to see, oh wow, we really need a way to make this easier. As we're looking to consolidate our products, it's a lot of how are these currently being used? Uh, we've used paths a lot to show pain points too, you know, things that we didn't think that they would do, but they're doing uh, before or after a certain task. And then we've used statistics in the data explorer to find out, you know, what's used, what's not being used. And then we're able to make product decisions based on that. It definitely arms us with the information that we need to have that conversation with support. We've just been able to get more data into these road mapping discussions. You're gonna hate yourself if you don't come up with a naming convention for all of your features. That's a lesson that I had to learn the hard way. Other people can understand, other people can tag, and they understand the naming convention. That one, that one was huge.